hello internet welcome to another antenna tutorial in this quick and important antenna tutorial I'll discuss the phrase free space equation I'll discuss the significance the physical interpretation and limitations of phrase free space equation uh, this equation is super important in terms of finding the received power at the receiver for example we have a set of communication system with a transmitter that has a transmitting power of P TX then we have a receiver that has a receiving power of PRX they're separated by a distance of DR the gain of the transmitter is GTX and the gain of the receiver is GRX and the Friss free space equation gives us in a very simple manner a way to calculate the received power this is what we are trying to calculate this will be unknown to us and we want to calculate the received power by a receiver if a transmitter sends a signal of certain power with certain gain to this receiver so the free, sp free space equation is pretty simple it says that the received power is equivalent to transmitted power multiplied by gain of both the antennas and then it has this factor lambda signifies the wavelength of the transmitting wave upon 4 pi distance and whole square in terms of dv it takes up this form so if you want to calculate the power in dv you would need to multiply 20 log 10 to this factor now at times in numericals you may be given the aperture of aperture area of the antennas so you this formula could prove handy we know the relation of aperture with the gain of the antenna is lambda square upon 4 pi into gain so if the effective aperture area of antennas is given you can calculate gain and vice versa now there are some notes important notes about phrase free space equations the first note is that it is used to calculate received power for one frequency and this is the biggest limitation of this equation because in modern day communication system we hardly have any signal that has just one frequency component in transmission so for a transmission that has different frequency components this equation is not going to be so useful and the second note about Friss free space equation is that it does not take into account the polarization loss factor it is also popularly known as PLF in antenna terminology now both the antennas may not be polarized in the same manner for example one antenna could be horizontally polarized the other could be vertically polarized now this may cause some additional losses in the received power by a receiver for a particular transmission now in order to solve this we could multiply the phrase free space equations right hand side with PLF and the rest of the equation remains the same
and the third note is if you want to express this equation in terms of frequency of operation you could simply use lambda is equal to c by f and substitute c by f in the phrase free space equation so whatever form the numerical may take place uh, you shall be able to solve this uh, by taking into account these notes a few additional formulas like formula for aperture and the formula for conversion of wavelength into frequency may prove handy in solving free space equation numericals and very basic super important in the next tutorial I'm gonna recommend a website on which you can calculate Fris uh, free space equation parameters for example you can calculate the power received at the receiver by using a simple calculator by inputting values there and thank you so much for watching this video you have a good day and a good life bye